Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, let's just take a look at the SPY real quick. So jumping into 7.48, we got some time before, but um, yesterday was the FOMC meeting. Um, did tune into that. I was trying to watch the reactions, um, and this is kind of what happened. So this was the entire day leading up to. The uh, Fed meeting started at this green candle right here where um, they had announced that, no, they were not going to raise any interest rates um, today, which everybody kind of expected already. So this this jump up in um, the volume was kind of dumb um, because there's nothing to be excited about. They already knew he wasn't going to. The only good thing was like he there was no bad surprises that he was going to um, rise today because um they do prepare you for that. They're not just going to hit you with a surprise like that. And so, um, but what was expected was that because they weren't going to raise interest rates in March or anything, um, I mean, they weren't going to raise interest rates until March. Uh, there leaves that uncertainty still that, okay, so what's coming in March, right? Are we going to see if, if inflation's still escalating? Um, you know, maybe in March they're going to have to, um, Maybe they will pop off with a fifty basis point, um, fifty basis point uh, hike, and instead of a twenty five point, right? So there's still that uncertainty that just uh, lurks around um, because there was a lot of uh, unanswered questions. Um, besides knowing that in March they will they will be done tapering, um, their quantitative easing, and they will be <clears throat> hiking rates. Uh, on top of not also not knowing um, when balance sheet reduction will happen. So that could happen right after in March or maybe, you know, um, after the first, uh, after the first hike, maybe the next meeting, they'll, uh, initiate balance sheet reductions to see how the market and how the economy is doing, um, and how prices are doing and inflation. Um, the, the fed is going to look at all the data before making any of those decisions instead of just coming in and surprising and shocking the markets. Um, with huge interest rate hikes and balance sheet reductions that are going to put us in a recession, so they want to, um, they want to watch that carefully. So then, um, you know, the market's still kind of unsure what's going to happen because you you don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, a lot of people are thinking that, a lot of people think that inflation is going to stay around until something is done, um, and, and I'm kind of in the same boat too. I don't see inflation going anywhere soon. Um, Maybe not even within the year. There might be some slowdown, but I think that what's done is done until there can be some normalizing. Like, I think um, like wages are going to probably stay pretty similar. Um, energy prices, I think they're going to be pretty similar. Um, they might go down a little bit after, but there's also the geopolitics going on right now, right? Um, but all of that said, we just know that we're going to be in a bear market probably for at least the next three months. Um uh, until the um, until March is is handled, um, and then we can kind of see from there. So we have about thirty minutes or so till market open. Um, we're gonna figure out what we want to trade. Um, we're gonna figure out what we're thinking the market direction is gonna be today. Um, we should have our we should have our uh, one singular day trade today, and uh, just watch our positions. So I'll let you guys know when I get in the trade. All right, guys. Uh, I just got in. Um, this one's kind of probably <clears throat> be hanging around for the day. Um, we are in at... Um, we didn't get the best price. Um, 212 um, we got in at 212. I, I would have liked to get a... Originally, we wanted to get in here um, at this 440 price. It moved too far on us, um, and I didn't want to chase it. But then it confirmed it didn't want to make a new high, uh, as well as the falling, uh, falling RSI. Um, we have 9 EMA coming a little closer to um, the 50. The price broke through the 50. And uh, now I'm just waiting for it to break the open. Um, we're up 30 right now, 12 now, 10 now, um, five now. And we're probably gonna lose some because it's gonna come up here and possibly um, touch this for the breakdown below. Um, but I am going to let that run out because <clears throat> uh, 
Um, what I'm hoping to see is at least a move down to 436 possibly. Uh, this is, I believe, this would be considered dark cloud cover. I'm not sure if uh, that one's quite right. Um, but we're going to watch that one. The five minute is telling me that it's getting ready to break that as well. Um, yeah, so we're just watching those price points now. This is going to be a chop zone because of all this um, price aggregating in the middle right here. Probably down to here. That's probably a whole chop area. We're down 35 right now. Down 30. Down 7. Up 12. <clears throat> down 7. Down 5. Down 15. <clears throat> okay, here's the deciding 10 seconds right here. I think uh, it's not looking good for us. Um, we're still hoping that it's going to pop up to, hopefully worst case scenario is it pops up to 441 and then comes back down. But let's see. Um, Maybe all the bulls got out of their positions. We're going to watch that and make sure. Yeah, it's super annoying. Uh... I'll let you guys know if it gets to something uh, important. Yo, we're back, guys. All right, so here's the progress, right? Spy's broken the previous lows. Now we are looking at a free fall. If this can close below, we are... Originally, we were down like 270. We could have cut our losses because we bought... Where do we buy? I believe we bought right here. Or somewhere right here at the break of this 200. Came up, did all of this for nothing. Look at... Uh, that's... 10.35, okay, that was 30 minutes of, of trying to break this up on the way uh, up. So, that is one. I'm, I was uh, planning on locking in some of these profits. So, let me do so. Boing. Yes! All right. Locked in for some. Let's, let's uh, let this run out a little more. Conviction, guys. Mm, I had my plan. I, I was telling you guys it was going to go. It was going to go. It just had to wait. You know, it might have to go up first before it goes down. I'm just happy. My other position, ASML, is also playing in favor. I just made a brand new low. Um, I'm hoping for another... Um, for ASML, I'm hoping tomorrow. Uh, it most likely will break down tomorrow then pretty drastically. Uh yep. So this is our what what is left open, right? We have a remainder of eighty six dollars up for grabs. We can take that profit if we want. Um, totaling the totaling, you know, this open one and, and the closed one on this spy, uh, we are at three fifty. Well, we're we're we're, we're, pace, we're basically at three fifty right now with with uh, people selling out of the contracts because, like I said again, it's going to do a consolidation here. Um, this was a very important level for it to break and it's going to need to do some, you know, consolidating before it makes the next breakdown. What I definitely um, want to see though, what I'm anticipating for a finish of today is a clear break to um, this 200 SMA. So let me do this at balloon. Um, what we're going to see, this is exactly what you guys want to see right now. I am a fortune teller. Are you ready? That's what we're going to see. I'm going to leave that there and then we're going to come back to it. Uh, I'm going to do a workout. <clears throat> it's going to go boink. Bop, 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 bop. Boing. All right. You guys heard it here first. Let me just look at my other ones. My ASML position is groovy. Oh, groovy. So groovy. So groovy.
See, now I can I can actually go work out and not feel hella scared because if we were to lose this um, last remaining contract, like 100%, which would be $212, we would have still a little bit of a profit. Let me see. Hold on. 60. Okay, if we were to lose the entirety of this last contract, uh, we would still have about $58 profit. And that's if this went to zero. And the only way this is going to zero is if this really runs out the money, um, like so far. Like I, I, there's a good chance, even if it were to go all the way up, I'd still be able to get $50 out of this. Um, so now that's just our play. Oh, Oh, good God. Well, all right. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm going to go work out and um, I'll be back in like 30 to an hour. Um, and we'll see how this thing has run. Be right back. All right, guys. Uh, I just got a quick ping. I heard my ping. And uh, so I was wrong in the aspect of it didn't consolidate as much as I thought it would. Remember, I kind of drew this line, I guess. It wasn't supposed to go all the way out here. It's just basic idea that it will consolidate uh, consolidate between these levels. So now we're seeing this big heavy pullback. Uh, our one left. Uh, I wish I would have gotten it at this candlestick. It would have been the most ideal one. So we're just going to sell and kind of be done because uh, try to get... Try to get 345 for it. If I can see a nice little pullback. <sighs> Might just run up to the 50. See what it does. I was expecting a nice, you know, bounce anyways, because um, it makes sense too, especially right in the middle of this larger week's frame. But um, <clears throat> it hit my 432 level, 200 SMA. So there goes that uh, touch right there on the five minute on the... Will it continue to the one minutes 50? It might. <laughs> so. That's the 38 level right there. Oops, wrong. Wrong. Yeah, 38 level right there. So, what are we seeing? Huh. It's back down to 100. All right. I might as well just see if it'll run again. I, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to set a sell order. Am I recording? Yes. I'm going to set a sell order if it comes back to bounce here again. Uh, I should have just left that one. See if we can get a... See if we can get three... See if I can get 349 for it. Based on... If it moves, if it moves on volatility. <clears throat> the ask for now 332, it's gonna bounce off this 9 EMA uh, and probably revert back. So really I should be 
a little more generous. Let's see. I mean, hey, he might. You we really never know. There you go. All right. That got filled? That's crazy. Thought I did 349. Okay, so here's the PL on the day, guys. 398. Um don't have my phone on me right now. Hold up. So we spent uh, $1,060, <clears throat> uh, $1,060 minus, or sorry, nope, 398 divided by 1060. That is a 30, 37 and a half percent return. That is very good for me. What, what, 30, 37 and a half, right, I said? 37 and a half return, yep. Okay, 37 and a half ROI. Return on my investment of $1,060 that I used for that trade. And I'm very happy with that. I just want to get that off of my mind, and it is. So we will uh, leave it at that. So I'm gonna cut the video then. Thank you guys for watching. It's uh, 12 p.m. here in the Midwest. Um, and uh, hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you guys for watching. I'll probably see you guys next week.